Hello, this is Dave again. We're going to be talking again about how to create a movie and upload it to YouTube. And this is the fourth session in this training series. And in this session, we're going to talk about how to create text slides. And there's two ways to do that. Uh, the way I normally do it is I normally use the um, Microsoft PowerPoint program that's a part of Microsoft Office. And here's the PowerPoint program here. And I'll pick up some, I'll uh, load some slides that I already did previously. Um, Angel Love. And here they are. I love my life. I'm grateful for all I have. My outlook is positive. My life is full of love. Love is truth. Found an open heart and mind, etc., etc. Uh, I made about 38 of those. I found that um, that's a pretty good number if you keep them at approximately two seconds per slide. Uh, about 38 of these and have about uh, 38 or so corresponding pictures uh, each at two seconds and that comes out to um, a movie that's about um, four minutes long four and a half minutes uh, something like that which, which is about right uh, each one of these as you can see it has a black background and white text I found that uh, shows up uh, really easy it's very easy to read um, make your text large so it, it'll be easy to read also and keep your saying short because uh, if they're too long uh, people won't be able to read it so keep them all short you can see here all uh, my um, text slides are short I love my life I'm grateful for all I have my outlook is positive my life is full of love love is truth and so on and so forth if, if you possibly can also, um, if you're going to be zooming in or anything like that, you want to try to um, keep your text um, uh, kind of centered. And I don't always do that, but I should. Like, for instance, here, I really should make that two lines instead of one line. So if I zoom in on this, uh, I won't lose any of the text um, uh, as it zooms in. But if it were like this and it zoomed in, I might lose part of the word have or uh, the uh, first two words I am when it's zooming in. So it's really a good idea to try to keep your text centered um, on the uh, slide like that if you possibly can. And then when you have all your text slides, what you want to do is click um, Save As and then find the directory where you want to save them at uh, let's see and I want to save these in my mind movie angels because this is an angel theme video here instead of saving them in the default um, format PowerPoint format I would save them in um, either GIF picture format or JPEG picture format either one of those would work and click save and it would ask me do you want to export every slide in the presentation or only the current slide I would uh, check every slide unless I was making a, a change to a certain slide uh, say like uh, I wanted to change the text in it or something um, uh, to make it fit with a picture better or something like that then I would um, make my change to that particular slide I would highlight it and then I would save again but in that case I would only check current slide and then it would save that uh, that uh, slide that I made the change on and I would also probably want to uh, rename it to say like for instance if I made a change on slide number four uh, I would want to rename that file that I, I uh, was saving to slide four or something like that so I would know what it was okay so then I have all my slides saved it would save them in the form of 38 picture files 
in that directory and then I would just go into um, Windows Movie Maker and import them here import pictures and uh, and there they are there slide 1 through slide 38 and I would click import and just import them in here and drag them down to my storyboard here along with my um, photos text slide photo slide text slide photo slide text slide photo slide and I would keep doing that 30 some times until I have my movie constructed and add the uh, sound file down here in audio music right there now um, say like for instance uh, I didn't want to uh, create my um, text slides that way let me import all this in again should only take a minute say like for instance uh, I didn't want to go to storyboard view instead of timeline view uh, I didn't want to uh, create my slides in PowerPoint uh, I want to um, add text to each individual picture which a lot of people do uh, there is a way to do that also let me delete this slide here I would highlight my picture that I wanted to add text to and I would click on um, make titles or credits and then um, I could uh, create my text uh, right from there type it in and, and then it would show the text right on top of the picture if you can see it here it would be right there and you can format that text in different ways too you can make it um, um, zoom in or zoom out or fly in or fly out or you can make it explode or do all, all sorts of things basically um, but I won't do that uh, here because uh, uh, I found that if I click on this link here um, my, my uh, cam studio product uh, uh, software can't re really handle too much on screen at the same time so it's liable to go crazy and you're um, liable to see all kind of weird things in the movie so I won't do that but I'll just tell you that's how it works uh, additionally I could also create my picture slides or my text slides I should say before the picture slides uh, through this method here make uh, titles or credits also and that there's an option there where you could uh, create a text slide and make it show either before or after your picture slide and after you create it um, you can also reformat it it would uh, come uh, by default with a blue background and white text you can change that there if you want you can change it to uh, whatever color background you want and whatever color text you want and you could format the text however you want and then you can add effects to the text like like I said before you can make the text um, zoom in or zoom out or fly in or fly out or explode on screen or uh, show on screen and then dissolve or show on screen and then fade and uh, do all sorts of interesting effects like that so those are the two ways that we could um, add um, text slides to our picture slides and create our movie um, if you have any questions on that just let me know and in a future video we'll talk about um, how to um, upload your video to YouTube after it's all done and we'll also talk about good places on the web to find lots of pictures that you can use for your movie so that's all for now happy movie making happy movie making and if you have any questions let me know